it's the time of year for the hindu festivities of dasera now all over india people celebrate the victory of good over evil the defeat by ram of ravenna as chronicled in the ramayana at this particular street corner the dance has added symbolism here is the victory of the human spirit over adversity because this dance takes place in Surat, the centre of India's recent plague outbreak. In this city, over 50 people have died with plague symptoms and over 200 are under observation. But contrary to what you may think, people are not walking around wearing masks, fearful of breathing germs. Life on the streets appears normal. The disease appears under control. But the after effects are significant. The word plague carries a stigma which lasts long after the disease is cured. It has caused Surat a huge financial setback and a severe blow to its image. The Gujarat government now has a huge task ahead to build confidence in its citizens, convince foreigners the situation is under control and stop the plague from happening again. Plague is uh, preventable, it's curable, the antibiotics are effective and uh, all cases can be treated. The very fact that only about uh, as many as 52 people died in such a massive outbreak of a deadly disease, it indicates that uh, we have been in a position to manage the situation and the treatment has been quite effective. In the Surat Civil Hospital, Dr. Palma leads the medical team that is tackling the plague problem. He set up a special isolation unit. These children have all been under observation and are waiting for discharge. This young child is less fortunate. Dr. Palma is treating him for bubonic plague, a disease characterized by buboes or swellings like this in the armpit. It was very big like this, just like a cricket ball. We don't have any patient, and the, here is the doctor, Dr. Pranav Shah. This patient is a doctor who's suspected of having contracted pneumonic plague after he treating other active. plague patients. Here, yeah, he was working in the care of the patient, uh -huh. and he acquired some, say, some sort of a cough, and his sputum showed some positivity. The patient believes there's nothing to fear as the plague is treatable. What is your message for the foreigner <coughs> that she worry. wants to ask? Nothing to worry. You can come as you can you come previously. There's no problem. Though fear has abated, it's still necessary to post policemen at the hospital entrance to stop patients running away, as some did in the early days of the epidemic. Surat is in the northeast of India, in the state of Gujarat. To the south, 250 kilometers away, is India's major business center, Bombay. When the plague first broke out in Surat, many fled by train to Bombay. From there, they made their way to families living far from the plague epidemic. Travelling south out of Surat by road, we found this checkpoint as we left the state of Gujarat and entered Maharashtra. Workers spray vehicles with benzene hexachloride, which kills off any fleas. So far, these doctors have sent two people to hospital who are suspected of carrying pneumonic plague. Suppose somebody is bringing that uh, bacteria and this uh, fleas, so they are not allowed to enter in the state from that side. You can see that every truck is uh, going to be oh, sprayed. Yes. There's also surveillance at Bombay's VT railway station. Millions of people travel by train, so here doctors are checking passengers coming from the Surat area but they feel the risk has now receded. Because initially they were very afraid. They were hiding their faces, that we are not coming from Surat. So we actually went to the, this mob and asked them, we made a report with them, whether you are having any uh, complaints of fever or any such uh, swelling in the groin or cough. Though they acknowledge there's been a plague outbreak, these doctors believe stories have been exaggerated. They say the plague was confined to Surat and other areas of India are safe. Yeah, it's internationally India's image has been affected because all the business tours have been cancelled, so many hotels have been vacant. So internationally our image has been uh, very much affected, madam. The reports have been ex exaggerated. That is the only I can tell you, madam. It is not that much affected. You can see normal life, everything is normal in Bombay. 
This group of Bombay school children confirms the view life is back to normal, but there's heightened awareness of cleanliness and they've been told what measures to take to avoid the plague. They are, overall, the children are very confident and not at all worried and they've been told what to do. So they are very, very uh, happy. They look happy. They don't look worried at all, but they're taking precautions. They have been told about how to take care of themselves uh, to prevent uh, um, uh, it spreading, the cleanliness, and to uh, prevent rats. Uh, and if they find a rat, to uh, kill it and burn it up. And to keep everything clean and neat, yes. Are they scared about the plague at all? Are you scared about the plague at all? Bombay has had no plague deaths like Surat, but the city is on alert. At the headquarters of Bombay's municipal council, tetracycline is stored for issue to garbage cleaners and rat trappers as an antidote to plague. Signs like these outside municipal offices show how plague is contracted and spread. The very symbol of plague is the rat, and now Bombay's rat population is under attack. Rats are a problem. They carry the fleas which, when they bite humans, infect us with bubonic plague. Though most who died in Surat were said to be pneumonic plague cases, the authorities are taking no chances and are making a full assault on the rat population. In Bombay, workers from the municipal council are out early to collect traps set the night before. This is an everyday operation, but since the plague outbreak, they've increased the amount of trapping. This is the catch from traps laid last night. It's not difficult to see why rats come here. These are old wooden houses. Food and rubbish lie scattered on the ground. Killing rats won't solve the problem. Health education is needed. This woman is handed a cage to trap rats. She signs for it and the men will be back tomorrow to collect the catch. Altogether, she's trapped around 10 rats in a few weeks. She's heard about the plague and is worried. How busy have you been since the plague outbreak? See, we have to control plague in two ways, as far as vector control goes. We have to reduce the population of these rats, one part. Second, we have to reduce the population of the fleas also. So how we do it, this is one part we are checking rats plus the fleas on it. As I just told you, we drown them so that we are killing rats and fleas together. Despite this operation, Mr. Bohr is keen to emphasize there is no plague in Bombay. There is no plague problem at all in Bombay. But no bubonic, no any other plague also. But you are taking the preventative step? Definitely. Yes. Meanwhile, in other areas of Bombay, the rat problem is even worse. Fumigation with DDT is the only course of action. One day later, the rats lie dead in their holes. Later, workers pick out the dead rodents. For a large-scale job like this, there's heavy-duty machinery. Whilst Mr. Bohr's brave team tries its best to combat the menace, other freelance operators are out to cash in on the rat poison market. People want to help in the crisis. This boy brings a trapped rat to Bombay's Health Ken Institute. Here, rats are dissected to see whether they carry the plague virus. Bombay, most people feel far removed from any plague epidemic. The city is as busy as ever. People are aware of the plague outbreak in Surat, but are going about their business. In a country of nearly a billion people, 52 deaths may seem like a small number, but the local authorities and citizens are taking the threat seriously. Indians, it seems, love their country and are doing all they can to soften the blow to India's image abroad and to put their house in order.